breaking news. Men of the Southeast Security Unit, known as Ebube Agu, has stepped out in their uniforms. Men of the Southeast Security Network stepped out in their uniforms today. Recall that a security outfit was formed by the Southeast Governors on April 11 to tackle the insecurity in the region. They were officially launched in Enugu State today, April 28. Recall that to tackle the insecurity in the region, governors from the southeast of Nigeria today announced the establishment of a security outfit called Ebube Agu. The governors dislodged, disclosed this, I beg your pardon, after an emergency meeting held in Oweri, the Imo state, on Sunday, April 11th. According to a communique put out by governors of the Southeast, the agency is to oversee and monitor the activities of vigilante groups in the region. Chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, Engineer David Umahi, who read the statement after the meeting, said the headquarters of Ebube Agu security outfit will be in Enugu. After exhaustive discussion on the current security challenges in the Southeast and with valuable contributions from participants at the first Southeast Security Summit in Oweri, on this day, Sunday, April 11, 2021, it was resolved as follows, the governor had stated. That one, to strongly and unequivocally condemn terrorism and banditry in, the part, if any, in any part of Nigeria, particularly in the Southeast. The meeting strongly condemns the burning of police stations, violent attacks on custodian centers with unlawful release of inmates, and the killings, including security personnel, natives and farmers, and headsmen. Two, that the five Southeast states are on the same page with the federal government on the issue of security challenges in the country. To this end, the meeting makes it absolutely clear that the Southeast will stand resolutely with the federal government to fight terrorists and bandits to a finish. That the political leadership in the Southeast has resolved to bring together all the arsenals at their command as one united zone to fight and flush out criminals and terrorists from the zone. Four, that the summit resolved that to achieve this, there is a need to galvanize all the relevant stakeholders in the Southeast, the political class, the business community, the bureaucrats, and the intelligentsia to provide all necessary support to security operatives in the five Southeast states to ensure total success in the fight against criminality in the zone. That the heads of all security agencies in the Southeast have resolved to exchange intelligence in a seamless, effective new order that will help to checkmate crime in the zone. Six, that to fast track crime busting in the Southeast, the heads of security agencies have been mandated to draw up a comprehensive list of their logistics and materials material needs for sustainable success in the fight against criminality for the immediate provision by the leadership of the Southeast. That a committee made up of security personnel, government officials, and relevant stakeholders be set up to coordinate and monitor the implementation of the Southeast Joint Security Platform. That a committee made up of security personnel Government officials and relevant authorities be set up to coordinate and monitor the implementation of the Southeast Joint Security Platform. Eight, to applaud the initiative of the Southeast Security Summit and to make it a statutory summit that will convene every quarter while its hosting shall rotate among the five Southeast states. The meeting resolved to maintain a joint security vigilante for the Southeast, otherwise known as. It will be a good.
The meeting appreciated the, form the formation of Southeast Joint Security Outfit, codename Ebobe Agu, headquarters in Enugu to coordinate a vigilante in the Southeast. Southeast governors requested the Acting Inspector General of Police to stop the influx of IGP monitoring units, but to allow CPs and state and zonal commands to handle their cases. Meetings approved that the acting IGP and other security chiefs do invite the leadership of Ohaneze Ndigo and the Christian Association of Nigeria to find out the reason for increasing insecurity of the Southeast. Meeting agreed that military policing in the Southeast should be adequately funded and become effective. The meeting also agreed that open grazing has been banned and security agencies should implement the ban. The meeting encouraged a peaceful coexistence of farmers and herders to allow governors to succeed in the fight against criminality. That was the meeting that produced the Ebube Agu security outfit and uh, as has now been actually, um, you know, launched or open to the public today as they can you can see in their uniform well be that as it were guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular new story as it were they have been given a uniform and they have been you know this is the first time they, this is the first public appearance ever since the announcement was made and probably the formation if we could call it that so but be that as it were guys what are your thoughts concerning this particular new story as it were what do you think do you think that it cannot be said that they are serious? Can it be said now that they are now ready to do the job? Can it be said that they are now ready to um, push through and follow suit and deal with the issues? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. To a very large extent, if the Southeast governors had been more proactive and intentional in coming up with this security outfit long before now, you know, it probably would have made more sense and things would have probably been better. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news stories, guys? Well, drop by in the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are concerning this particular news story as it is. Well, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And they want to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.